Welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Pearson at Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamoto. And uh, in this video, I want us we discuss areas of sectors and segment pure mathematics one. We continue to explain this book and we are in topic number seven. And uh, we are dealing with the uh, we're dealing with the areas of uh, uh, radian measure. The topic is called radian measure. And we want to discuss something to do with the areas of sectors and segment on page 139. And we also told that when you are using radians, it's very easy to calculate the area of a sector. First of all, let us remind ourselves what a sector is. If you happen to have a circle of this nature with, of course, center O, that is a radius, that is a radius, and this is angle theta in between, and this is an arc length, then we call this the minor, this is the minor sector, and of course, this is the major, this is the major sector. Now, for the area of a sector, it is very important to note that area of a sector is given by the formula, very simple formula, half r squared theta, where r is the radius, this is the radius of the circle, and this is the angle in radian subtended by the arc to the center. This is the angle in radians. This is the angle in radians. And we just go to example 7. Let's first of all, let's just run to example 7 and see what's happening. And in example 7, we're supposed to find the area of a sector of a circle of radius 2.44 centimeters given that the sector subtends an angle of 1.4 radians at the center of the circle. We are told that we have such a circle. There is the center, there is the radius, 2.44, and it's a sector. There is an angle 1.4 radians at the center. There is an angle of 1.4 radians at the center. And we are supposed to find the area. So the area basically is a half r squared theta, where theta is in radians. We have understood in this topic in this formula. So the area is a half r squared is 2 point, uh, times 2.44 squared, of course, times 1.4, times 1.4, uh, which is... Uh, which is easily, if you multiply out this, you realize that this is, uh, you realize that this is going to give us uh, 4.17, is going to give us 4.17, uh, let me make this visible, 1.4, 4.17, of course centimeters squared because the units were in centimeters that is just like it how we get the area of a sector and in the same video i would wish to explain further example eight let's give it a trial let's look at uh, let's just look at example example eight and what is in example 8? In the diagram, the diagram is shown there. Please walk with me to page 140. In the diagram, uh, the area of the minor sector A or B, let's first of all have the diagram in place. Yes, it's a circle. The area of the minor sector, we have R centimeters there. 
that is the radius and we have 0 0.8 radians at the middle or at the center this is a and this is b the area of the sector a or b is uh, 2 area is 28.9 centimeters squared given that angle a or b is 0 0.8 radians calculate the radius of the circle find the value of r and we know the area is given by a half r squared theta and the area happens to be now 28.9 must have given from by a half r squared uh, 0 0.8 because theta is 0 0.8 so if 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 we if we just clean up this we get by 2 by 2 0 0.4 and you're going to have to make r squared the subject of the formula to be 0 28.9 over 0 0.4 uh, which is um basically 72.25 and 72.25 that is r squared so the value of the radius is obviously now the root of 72.25 which is easily around 8.5 centimeters please note we've just been able to use the formula and we have captured what we wanted as the area of of the value of r in the same video if we can explain example 9 these are, these are short, short examples and we are told that in example 9 uh, a plot of land is in the shape of the sector of a circle of radius 55 meters as shown let me let me have that sector here this is 55 meters the radius this is let's say o center uh, this is center O, A and B and the radius is 55 this is also 55 the length of the fence that is um, erected along the edge of the plot to enclose the land is 176 the perimeter the perimeter the perimeter now is 176 meters because the perimeter talks about the length along the edges Calculate the area of the plot. Uh, fine. Um, since the perimeter is 176, we know we have that radius and we have that radius. So the curve AB, the curve or the arc, the arc AB is going to be given the whole by the whole perimeter 176 minus the two radii which is 110 which is 66 meters the the the, the arc a b is basically 66 meters but previously we have understood the arc length using radians and we know that 66 is given by r theta and we need to find the value of theta because we have the r so this talks of 66 is 55 theta and it goes without saying that theta is 66 over 55 which is basically 6 over 5 and there we are 1.2 this is 1.2 radians so the angle at the center is 1.2 radians we have found it so what is the area of the plot the question is not over yet we need to get the area of the plot of the plot the area is given by a half r squared theta which is a half r is 55 squared times 1.2 radians and this one is basically around something to do with 1815 meters squared please find out uh, about that whether this is correct it's 1855 meters squared yes example 9 is quite demanding but of course if you remember what we talked about uh, the, the the arc length r theta 
then I don't expect anybody to face any challenge. That is the end of um, that particular uh, part. In the next video, we'll be talking about the area of a segment. All right.